Hi folks, it's uh, Ron Johnstone here, Info Officer, and this is uh, my third up, uh, part three, which is dealing with internal theft. Now, with shoplifting, you do lose product, and you can resell and get that money back pretty fast. But with internal theft, cash especially, it's very hard to recoup your losses. The first one I want to talk about is called sweethearting. This is where a cashier has a friend or relative come into the store and they'll come through their checkout with a whole thing of groceries, buggy full of groceries, and the cashier will not scan all the high priced items and the friend or relative will leave with a undisclosed amount of huge groceries in a shopping cart and maybe it's a couple hundred dollars worth of groceries but in all actuality the customer friend relative has only paid 30 bucks um, the best way to track this is if you have a CCTV camera over and above the cashier or and a journal system where in your office you can go to a specific cashier open that journal and it'll show transactions as they're going along and if you're watching the CTV and the journal at the same time you can tell what's being scanned and what's not being scanned and when that happens you can um, get down to the sales floor you can stop the customer leaving with the discounted goods and pull the cashier and you explain to the customer that you have received um, free groceries from this cashier and uh, <coughs> you, uh, you, you know about it and then uh, you take the cashier separately what you do is you get the information from the customer, their personal information if you can, and you refund their money and you retain the receipt. After that, you can let the customer, you can release the customer. Then you can deal with the cashier and she'll probably confess to the sweethearting deal. Another one that's really important, a good one, is if you suspect a cashier from stealing from you cash what you do is before her shift you make a new cash float in say checkout 3 and um, you photocopy a 50 or a hundred dollar bill in the office have everyone sign it as a wit that's, that are witnesses and then take that 50 or a hundred dollar bill and place it in the cash drawer now you watch her on the CTV system and if she's if she's honest she'll probably drop it in the drop box right away or inform a head cashier that you take this and drop it um, if she doesn't then you're you're almost guaranteed she's gonna take that money she'll see it and she'll she'll cup it and put it in her pocket her bra in the garbage can wherever and then most important is she has to be dedicated to that till when she goes on a break till 3 is closed no one can use it that way you know for certain that if the money goes missing that she has taken it and then you can take her up for an interview and ask her for the hundred dollars or you can tell her that you're a hundred dollars short and this is what we found on the camera you cupping the money and putting it in your pocket now if this is a non-union store it's an easy interview you just have to need another witness but if this is a union store you need a union rep present while you're conducting the interview okay um, another one is free lunch cashier comes through on her break the other cashier doesn't scan the product and she gets a free lunch um, you got to have eyes on that one that's a hard one to catch but sometimes you can do it and if it's a non-union store and you have your doubts you can always go up to the lunchroom and ask that person for a receipt 
if it's a union store and you don't even think about doing it you gotta have solid proof because she's backed by the union rep and the union but if it's a non-union non store you can ask that ask for that receipt um, also I have some uh, video clips of uh, some employee theft you might want to see and and some other shoplifting uh, videos you might find quite interesting but the most prevalent is the cash theft from the cash drawer and I've caught uh, I've hundreds of cashiers uh, taking money some of them long-term employees another one is called bait and switch where the cashier is dedicated to her till and she's got five minutes left on her shift and then another cashier will sneakily say to her oh you can go now and whatever I'll close your till for you maybe she's the head cashier she jumps in your till she's she's at, she's doing a transaction for the last five minutes but she's operating that till under your password code so she steals the money and then this and then everyone's looking at the other cashier as she's the one that's actually doing the theft but she's not it's the cashier that's doing the bait and switch to get into her till with her own with well, her own code number so it's very hard or difficult and to find but if you have a CTV camera for this kind of stuff you will succeed and you will be amazed and surprised I had one employee in the corporate store she was with the company for 27 years and we were losing every store she went to there were cash shortages and we f I finally figured out what she was doing a bait and switch with another cashier so anyways I hope you enjoy the videos and uh, we'll have a part two of employee theft but for now enjoy thank you very much